I'm so scared right now. The player witch has an achievement for beating the game without killing any monsters. And do you know how you kill monsters in this game? You use a flashlight. That means I can't use a flashlight for a majority of this game. I didn't know this when I booted up this game. And now I have to finish it. <laughs> There's also a collectible achievement. I don't want to have to focus on collectibles in these situations. <laughs> There's multiple ending achievements that I have to get to, which means I have to play the game several times. What's going on? Here we go. <sighs> First I was afraid. I was petrified. This is Willy. Willy is one of many coping mechanisms I will use to get through this game. An emotional support dog, if you will. Put aside my actual dog and the dog you get in the game. This should be enough to get me through, right? This game has a total of 25 achievements, and to easily keep track, they will pop up on screen when one is earned. I've never played this game. I've never seen the movie. I'm going in dark here. I've never even watched a trailer, guys. I'm so terrified right now. It's not even funny. This game does an excellent job at building anticipation. I start out and I'm in a car with my dog. The radio station turns on to find out that a little boy is missing. There is still no sign of the nine-year-old Peter Shannon who went missing oh, no. on Saturday afternoon. Oh no. The missing boy was last seen wearing a green t-shirt and a Baltimore Crows cap. I try to design Bullet after my good boy Tiny. I pull up on a bunch of abandoned cars just to find out that this is a search party looking for the little boy. Here I find my first wooden doll. You get one achievement for collecting the first wooden doll, which I got right here. Oh, there's an achievement. The idol. That is not a doll. Somebody needs to learn what the frick definition a doll is. But this is one of many collectibles I have to grab in this game. The map zooms out and shows me the symbol of the Blair Witch. And past the intro, the sun was officially starting to set. So I tell the sheriff on a walkie-talkie that I'm joining the search party. Do you know what this man says to me? <laughs> he tells me that I have health issues. <laughs> That's not what you want to hear when the sun's going down in these creepy woods with a boy missing. Dallas, what are you doing out here? Joining the search party. You got a point there. You think you're up for it? Your uh, health issues, they're, they're not gonna be a problem? Sir, I'm not gonna screw this up. Not this time. Bullet, being the good boy he is, finds a baseball hat with the scent of the little boy in it. So what does Bullet do? <laughs> This is where things start getting the heart valves racing a little bit. Bullet takes off, man, and the objective is to chase him? <laughs> I am not fit for this game. Bullet. Where's that dog? Bullet, where are you? No, Bullet. Not now. Bullet, please. What's going on? Get a grip, Ellis. We got this far. They're giving up now. What was that? What's that noise, dude? Bullet. Oh, hi, buddy. <sighs> Poor little buddy. I'd like to think that the monsters are more afraid of me than I am of them. <laughs> like any good dog owner, I pet Bullet to get my PTSD down. And while my character does have actual PTSD in this game, I have PTSD just making this video talking about this. <laughs> I did get an achievement for petting Bullet, though. I want to pet you. It's not letting me pet him. Oh. Oh, okay. Achievement a lot. Good boy. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Titan. After that little episode, I decided to procrastinate. There's an achievement for pulling your phone out and playing Cobra. You have to get 40 points and it gives you the achievement. It's basically Snake. Boom. That should be it. Let's get to 41 just for- Okay, cool. I did get an achievement. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. The next collectible makes its appearance at the campsite. So watching videotapes on this camera implements some sort of time travel essence to this game. Whatever you're looking at on the camera, you can go back in time to that moment. What the f- Dude. This- This wasn't here a minute ago, right buddy? Ah, I don't know. I don't want to do this anymore. 
I, I don't like this at all. Doing this opens up new paths through the woods. This introduces the next kind of collectible, which is a victim photo. For collecting the first victim photo, I got an achievement. This is too bad. I can't do this. The fact that I can't do this. What is it, boy? Something wrong? What's that noise? Olga? Who the F is Olga? Oh, dude. <laughs> I come across a white tree. This is where I radio the sheriff to let him know where I'm at. Stay, you stay by me. You do not run off. Okay, I'll check this out. Just stay by me. Get a grip, Ellis. Ellis to base. I'm near a dead white tree. First time. Oh, great. He found a tree in a forest. I then found a man-made bunker. This is not a comforting feeling in the woods where there's not supposed to be any man-made structures. Stay here, boy. I don't want to do this. Okay. A new videotape reveals an item that the little boy dropped. Wait, is that... It's Peter. I think I didn't see that, Peter. This is where things started going very much downhill. I don't like this anymore. It was officially time to have my first encounter with a monster. Where the F am I? Something wrong? Uh, uh, what is it? What is it? What's the noise? No, 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 not the flashlight, not the flashlight. Bullet, 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 buddy, please. Oh my gosh, bullet, bullet. What is it? What is it? Oh, no! What kind of sick game am I playing here? What have I gotten myself into here? What even is this game? What was that thing? Evil in the woods. Kill your first monster. I hinted at this in my intro, but to kill monsters in this game, you have to use your flashlight. Killing my first monster gave me an achievement. After this, I found a truck. I had to repair the circuit breaker. <laughs> My beloved listeners, I'm so glad you could join me on this very special night. That's right, time for our annual trivia challenge. Today's question is... What have you done, Alice? <laughs> oh, looks like we have a winner. It's someone who knows the answer all too well. Congratulations. Your prize is on its way. Good night. But when I did, the most glorious thing happened. Sunlight. Oh, it's daytime. I can't express how much joy and peace I felt in this moment. So I wandered around the woods a little bit more. And this is where I found something very strange. Sheriff Lanning, the guy leading the search party, is dead. At this point, I have absolutely zero idea what's going on in this game. We were just... I don't understand. So I cover him with leaves, but there is a videotape. This videotape shows me that he was murdered by a guy with mud and sticks all over him. <laughs> so I keep wandering through this murky area and I start having a PTSD flashback. Apparently I served in the Afghanistan Iraq war and that's why my character is having flashbacks. At least I finally understand a little bit about this game. During this time, I got an achievement for walking 100 miles. Achievement unlocked, the longest hike, yeah. Once I got through this creepy section, I ended up back at the camp where I first found the tape recorder. Here I found the next collectible, which is a dog tag. And this gave me an achievement for collecting the first dog tag. Dog tag? Oh, achievement unlocked. I screwed up, guys. There's things I should have been doing this whole playthrough that I haven't been doing. Stop progressing through the game. You're missing collectibles. You're missing specific things you have to do for specific alternate endings. You've been achievement hunting for like 12, 13 years, right? Yeah. Subscribe.
All right, let's break this down. I need to restart the game, and this time I need to pick up every wooden doll, every victim photo, every dog tag. There's a collectible I haven't picked up yet, and they're called psychiatric notes. But the most wild one is that I have to pick up every piece of trash. That's five types of collectibles. Obviously, I'm not gonna show myself picking all of these up because that's ridiculous. Just know when I collect them all, I'll get a total of five achievements for collecting everything. I almost feel like a Lego game here, but I'm gonna move on. The second thing I have to do is patch things up with Jessica. Now, I haven't mentioned Jessica yet, but she is my ex-wife. Yeah, it turns out my PTSD got to our marriage. I don't know. We'll find out. But in order to patch things up with Jessica, I have to call her every time I have service. Let's answer a phone call from Jess. Hey, Alice. Jess, uh, hey. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good to hear from you. I didn't think you'd call. <sighs> yeah, well, neither did I, to be honest. Because we're both full of surprises. So, what are you up to? Uh, did you hear about the missing kid? I'm joining the search. Oh, wow. Okay. You, you think that's a good idea? <sighs> Why wouldn't it be? She's worried about me going into the woods, I understand. Hey, girl. My name is Ellis. I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought about not covering that I had to restart the game because I made these mistakes, just because it doesn't fit the algorithm, but I want you to experience my full journey through this game, and this is a big part of it. The next thing I need to do is pet Bullet as much as possible. Basically, anytime anything scary happens in the game, I need to take a moment and just go ahead and pet Bullet. This will give me an alternate ending achievement. I'm gonna skip all the stuff we already covered and just cover the few things that we missed. But I picked up my first psychiatric note and got an achievement. Ooh, achievement! <laughs> Counseling. Collect your first psychiatric note. Alright, good. We got an achievement already. That's what I'm talking about. There are a lot of pieces of trash in this game. <laughs> I literally mean trash. I sent Bullet out ten times to find a piece of trash and it got me another achievement, baby. Come here, buddy. What do you got? Oh. Oh, you already got it. Okay. Candy wrapper. Really? Come on. And while it never got easier... Bullet, please. Please, please. Oh, it's- Ah! Oh, mother fudger! Please stop! Bullet, bullet where? Bullet where? Bullet where? Mother! Oh! I wanna sing it no I did get an achievement for killing ten monsters. Could elaborate on what that is? Other words are- ah! Dude! Come on! You just did it already! You just scared me already! Is that a, literally another one? Do I have to literally kill a whole nother one right now? Do I have to kill a whole nother fudging one right now? Oh, dude, it's so freaking scary, man! Why does it squiggle? Did you see it squiggling in the trees? <laughs> Just brutal. I don't care about the achievement right now. Achievement unlocked fast with the flashlight. Mother. Please let this end. Please. I got another collectible achievement for breaking 10 totems. Okay. <gasps> achievement unlocked. A bullet doesn't like him. The next few segments I talk about are going to blow by because the game kind of drags out in these parts. Not because it isn't good, but because they needed to give the players something to do in between the story. So after I ended up back at the campsite, here I found a videotape of the man covered in mud. which reveals a new scent that Bullet will lead me to, and this begins a very lengthy PTSD flashback. Anybody there? I love this part of the game because you could tell the developers are trying to bring a serious awareness of veterans PTSD. I can't speak on the subject or matter because I know nothing about it. I'm not a veteran, but I love that the devs did this and it brought a lot of awareness of like what it must be like to have that crazy PTSD of these horrible things that happened. Calm down. Just calm down. No. You're not No. Hi, Bullet. After this, you come across a railroad track. This is the most drawn out part of the game. It's a lot of back and forth of grabbing different parts. I found the last dog tag, and this gave me an achievement for collecting all dog tags. Achievement unlocked to fallen comrades. That is the last dog tag, I'll be darned. Once you repair the train, it sends you on a serious path down to your destruction. We're gonna make it, baby. You still here, Bullet? Okay, good. <laughs> 
Just look at this old raggedy bridge, man. This is where I call Jess and give her a little, a little bit of Joker. I meant Alice. <laughs> okay, you sound out of breath. I, uh, no, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, it's everything. I, okay, I, I know I'm not making any sense right now, but, uh, that's the thing. I think I'm starting to lose it, Jess. I see these things and I don't even know if they're real or not. I, 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 I don't know which is worse. Calm down, Alice. Talk to me. What are you seeing? Witches. <laughs> Hard to explain. Um, Memories, but uh, bad memories. Listen to me, Ellis. You, you've been through a lot, more than anyone I know, but you survived because you're strong. And you will get through this. I know you will. You know, I know you won't turn your back, so I won't ask you again. Just once this is over, call me if you want to ride home. Thanks, Jess. For everything. <laughs> Next achievement it is so good. You literally have to call the pizza guy over and over again. Donnie's Pizza, only one hour left on that special offer. Two for the price of one. Can I take your order? Uh, no, no, not right now. Thanks. What did I just have on the street up to? This is Donnie's Pizza. <laughs> Try our signature Burkittsville Bulger. Now with extra cheese. Can I take your order? Um, maybe some other time. Well, then why are you calling now? We have to keep going. We have to keep calling Donnie's Pizza. Donnie's Pizza, pizza's so good they almost eat themselves. Can I take your order? Uh, thanks. Maybe later. <laughs> Donnie's Pizza, now? Are you ready to order? Uh, sorry, no. Well, pizza off then. For how many times I've called him, that's actually a really kind of response so far. <laughs> I finally made it to the sawmill. Here I'm confronted by the man with sticks and mud. He says some pretty weird, confusing stuff. Did you see her? When you looked into their eyes, did you see her? Now where's Peter? What have you done to him? It's not time yet. Come on, die. <laughs> has to die. <laughs> Such as this is some LS2 crap. That's what I'm thinking. And then you end up back at the camp. This is his plan as he tells you to follow these strange symbols that you can only see through your camera. But before I go, I have Bullet bring me my last piece of trash. My stream froze and I don't have the footage of the achievement actually unlocking. So let's just have it appear real quick. Now the game introduces a new mechanic with the camera. You can officially see the tree monsters through the night vision. And you think this might be a benefit. Mm, it makes it like a hundred times more scary. <laughs> Cause if you get close to them, they'll kill you. Uh, no. No, dude, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Bullet, shut the fudge up, man. Shh. Bullet, shut up. This whole segment leads you back to the white tree, and here's where the story really starts progressing. What the? Hey, psycho, what the hell is this? This thing bleeds. The man with sticks and mud tells you to kill your dog. You best believe I ain't touching bullet. I'm almost free. Just one more step, that's all it takes. You want me to, to kill myself? I give you what you wanted all these years. No, no I'll kill the dog. Bury it. What? Oh, fuck you, no! Stop hiding behind a child, you coward! Ah! God damn it! Don't do it. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, Bullet, buddy. I will never do that to you. But Bullet runs off anyway, and this segment lasts a really long time, but uh, they do something horrible. That's impossible. Bullet, no! Bullet! Oh my gosh, dude. I don't want to do this anymore. What happened to his dog? Oh, you think he did something to him? You see what you've done. Try as you might, you can only do harm. No. You did this. Me? All I did was give you a choice. You 
chose the How could you do that? Dead. I failed you. Why I did failed you have you. to bring Bullet into this? Now Why? you have nothing. Now you are ready. Come. It's time. This is where I get a flashback of my marriage with Jess. Normally this scene ends with her leaving me because of how I treated her, but because all the phone calls, it actually ends with a ray of hope, giving me the achievement for patching things up with Jess. You couldn't have known what I was going through. I should have told you. I will. Alice. Jess, please forgive me. I don't want to lose you. I can't. I, I love you so much. I love you too, Alice. But it's not as easy as saying sorry. I know. But it's a start. Achievement unlocked. Ray of hope. Patch things up with Jess. All right, we got that. After this segment, I actually end up back at the camp for the last time. But this time, there's a house up on the hill. So like any good horror game, I walk towards it. Now, there's a lot of things that go on in this house, and I'm going to do my best to try and explain them briefly here. But if you want a full, amazing breakdown of this story, go to Amazing Harry. I linked his video in my description because this story is actually quite amazing. First thing I want to get out of the way is I got the rest of the collectible. This gave me achievements for the psychiatric note. Achievement unlocked, baby. Psychotherapy. All the victim photos. Boom, baby. Picture perfect. And the wooden dolls. Wooden doll. Achievement unlocked, baby. All right, that's all the collectibles. While patrolling the cycle of this house, I find out that I was actually the one who murdered Sheriff Lanning. That is wild. Sheriff. Away. I also find a TV that shows me in the police force after the military, but my PTSD from the war got to me, so I ended up shooting somebody unnecessarily. A local teenager allegedly involved in a convenience store robbery was shot by a police officer arriving at the scene. The suspect was transported to a nearby hospital in critical condition. Local authorities confirm that the suspect was unarmed. Unarmed. Wow, this is getting really dark. And what officially caused my PTSD? I watched my whole squad die in battle. But when I went into this room, there was an innocent civilian that I ended up stabbing to keep quiet. Absolutely tragic. No, 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 please, 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 please. God, I'm not gonna hurt you. Shush, no, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you. Please, 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 please. Shush, 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 shush. All this reveal led to the final cutscene. You won't get out of it that easily. Free, free. I won't let you. <laughs> she always wanted you to become. Stop! And I look in the puddle, and I am the man with sticks. It's a little confusing. No, it's a lot confusing. <laughs> but there is great news. Who is that girl I see? Bullet? Because I gave Bullet treats and I pet him, I got the good ending with Bullet where he's with me at the end. <laughs> no dog death today, baby. I got an achievement for becoming Carver and saving Bullet. Bullet, please. I think that's it. Ah! Yeah! Clutch! Let's go! I want to scream, but Lexi's off. Achievement unlocked, baby. Take his face. Let's go, baby. So for now, I'm going to leave the story where it's at, but I will wrap it up in the end of this video, I promise. And now we reach the final step, the final playthrough. Take me out to the back of the shed, and you know what to do with me there. <laughs> now it is time to beat the game without killing any monsters. You heard me correctly. And as we have established, killing monsters in this game requires you to use your flashlight. I have to beat majority of this game without using my flashlight. <laughs> Before we go into this final playthrough, I do want to thank the members of my channel. You all are making my dream a reality, and I can't thank you enough. Cheers. All right, slightly story related, first things first. We never found out what happened to Peter, the little boy. Well, in order to find that out, you actually have to start the second playthrough. But before you do that, make sure in the first playthrough, you grab the battery in the house at the end of the game.
Stupid battery. Once you grab this battery, remember the bunker I talked about earlier? Well, when you turn the power on in the truck, you get that random text. That's actually the code to the bunker door. Go in the bunker door and use the battery, and you will hear that the boy has been found. One, one, three. Achievement unlocked, baby. Last transmission. That's why we got the battery. I know it's confusing. We're getting there. The first monster encounter actually went really well. I just ran past him. <laughs> Dude, what am I supposed to do? Guys, I'm so scared right now. I have chills down my entire body. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna try and go past it. I'm gonna try and go past it. Please let it be over. Oh, no. No, dude, I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. And honestly, this game isn't very long. So there's actually only two points of the game that were super difficult without my flashlight that I want to talk about. Before I do, I call Sheriff Lanning's wife and let him know that he is not coming home. This will give me an achievement for paying my respects to Sheriff Lanning. His wife and letting her know that Sheriff Lanning is dead. I would have played the audio of me calling his wife, but my streaming equipment cut out so you can't hear it. Thank you, Sheriff Lanning, for being a good friend to me. I'm sorry I murdered you. <laughs> but what can I say? Witches, am I right? <laughs> Such a stupid joke. Come on, right, pull it together. All right, this brings me... <laughs> All right, this brings me to my first encounter facing the monster that makes this really difficult. So I'm gonna draw a little map on the screen so you can understand this. This is during the train section. You have to go in and grab a part from this little area back here on the map. No matter which way you go in here, the monster will spawn. And because it's so dark, you literally can't see where you're going. So the monster kills you every single time. All right, this is a big deal. So now there's two monsters we have to avoid. Mother fudger, dude. Bullet didn't bark! I'm dead. I'm dead. Now you're gonna bark? You stupid idiot. Screw you, bullet. You got me killed. I don't think I can get away from this stupid witch. Bullet, please bark for me. Nope, there's still a witch. Follow the tracks, Ryan. Follow the tracks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah! Ah! Please! I just need a piece! Ah! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna hardcore die here. It is like the most annoying thing in the world. There's a worse one coming. So anyways, what I found out is that the monsters could take a few hits. So you can actually pull out your flashlight if you're careful. Dude, how? I'm, I'm, I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. I'm so annoyed right now. Follow it, follow it, follow it. Follow the tracks, follow the tracks. Bullet. Bullet, I screwed the pooch. I followed the tracks and I got screwed for it. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, that's a re, that's a redo. All right, I accidentally hit him. Why do I feel like there's... I found it. Why is he still after me? Oh my gosh, I made it. I didn't kill him, I made it. I got the part and made it past the train section. Here at the sawmill, when I come across the dead soldier, I actually make a phone call to the VA, and I let him know where his body is, so that way they can come get him and put him in a proper grave. And this will give me an achievement. You have reached the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. We are currently on... Achievement unlocked. K-I-A. Please leave a message. 50G. I, uh... Well, I'm not sure if it's something you deal with, but, uh, 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 I want to report the passing of a veteran named Todd McKinnon. Could you, um, could you maybe let his family know? Yeah. Thanks. All right, we're in the home stretch, but we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> no pun intended. 
Oh, that's so good. All right, so this part is a no flashlight zone. During the part where Bullet supposedly dies near the end of the game, you're in this weird area where there are monsters on the ceiling, so you cannot pull out your flashlight. Normally, to get out of here, you kill all the monsters. But because I can't kill monsters, there's only one way out of here, and there's not a clear description on how to do it. So I'm supposed to follow this rock wall to get out, but the rock wall goes in a circle. And if you go too far, it will spawn you back in the middle of this section. It's completely pitch dark. Literally the entire time I was streaming this, everybody was watching almost entirely pitch black screen. Okay, we made it to the rock, so all I have to do is follow the rock wall. What happened to the freaking rock, dude? I don't understand what's happening right now. This is so frustrating. My night vision's freaking worse. <sighs> I can't freaking see anything. I gotta turn off these lights. This is so annoying. This took me like 30 minutes. Are you freaking kidding me? Who designed this? I'm sure somewhere on the internet there is a clear description on how to do this part. If you find the Reddit thread, post it in the comment section because I would love to see. This is good. This is good. We're getting there. Dude, I could have sworn we were already at this rock. So irritated right now. Somebody explain to me how to get through this part. Come on. No! Oh! <laughs> I did it, guys. I did it. I did it. Let's go, dude. Now, if you have done this, my props go out to freaking you. This was one of the most horrifying experiences I ever had. Now, in order for me to explain one of the last two achievements before we have my final grand celebration, I need to explain to you the story that's going on here. You are the man in the wood. You're also the man searching for the little boy. You're also the little boy's friend that was with him when he went missing. It's a loop. The story's a loop. If you want it further explained to you, make sure you check out that video in the in the description. Now we can understand the achievement. Because I didn't kill any monsters or break any totems, not only am I gonna get the achievement for not killing any monsters and beating the game, I'm also getting an achievement for breaking the cycle. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe because the more of you there are, the more achievement hunting I can do in the future. She you. She won't let you. You can't defy her. You won't change anything. You can't. Not now. Not after all I've suffered. It's your turn. You're just her puppet. Now be a man it's a for different once, ending. or did you forget what it's like? No! So, this is how it ends. Without ever starting. Bullet. Why are you angry at me? Go, be free, buddy. Let's go, baby! One pacifist for not killing any monsters. And achievement unlocked, baby. Break the cycle. The Blair Witch is finished, baby.